Good day everyone, my name is Angelo Petero. Our chosen project proposal was titled Ejutsu, the Basic First Aid Kit. The rationale of this project is it is a collection of supplies or equipment that used to give immediately care to an injured person. And it is important to a number of situations that doesn't require to a trip of hospital or emergency room. And it will be continued by AISA. That's all. Thank you. As we all know, first aid is a kind of treatment that gives immediately to an injured person and in this project aims to do that and to minimize injury and future disability. And also in serious cases, first aid may be necessary to keep the victim alive. Equipments will be useless if anyone doesn't know how to do it in the first place. Together with our team, we all agreed Together with the first aid kits are a simple tarpaulin containing a simple ways to do a step-by-step -step first aid procedure that may be help everyone. And also this help everyone to prevent for the wild spread of coronavirus instead of going outside. It will be a great help for everyone to know the basic of AD. Hi, I'm Miguel Angelo C. Benigas and for objectives to provide essential kit for prevention of widespread unforeseen coronavirus to give first aid before medical help arrives to prevent severe injury from becoming a chronic problem to minimize injury in future disability and to give immediately basic medical treatment that's all thank you so, for the target people, we have Porok del Yacambalian San Isidro that consists of 26 households. Parents in this area don't have any job, but it's 90% of them are jobless and mostly women. Men have worked as a laborer and fisherman and this is the main source of income because they live in a coastal area. If you're a lucky one, consider it as a blessing, if not try harder in order to feed your family. That's why a lot of them have a health prob problem due to lack of financial support. Children in this area are prone to accident. 60% 60 per 60 of it are 3 to 7 years old and the rest of it are teenagers. And some children doesn't go to school because of the lack of support of their family and mostly financial support. The leaders in this area are Juvito Araha, the Purok Chairman, Dante E. Juvito, the Purok Vice Chairman, Francisco Buloy, the Purokagawad uh, area, as I've mentioned earl earlier, they live in a coastal area that most of their livelihood depends on catching fish and laborer because there are some of people have business like beaches. This Purok is prone to flood because there's a big river and the medical center is like 15 to kilometers far away from this particular Purok. So our second chosen area where we will conduct our project proposal is located at Purok Bangkok 2, Kambalion, San Isidro, with a community that has 15 houses. So the target people are parents and children. Almost 70% of people in this particular area don't have work. The primary source of income in this area is labor and farming. This area doesn't have gender inequality issues when it comes to work um, as it as most of men and women here have the same work like farming and or even what we call in Visaya Hagbas or Guna so the children although this area has small community but there are a lot of children living here most of the children are seven to three years old and 80% of them are mal malnourished, uh, and the rest are teenagers. The leaders of this area are Purok Chairman Danilo S. Katok, Purok Vice Chairman Rene Katok, and Purok Kagawad Elmer Kabatwan. The area is located on the peak of mountain of Kambalion, the distances from the barangay this area is almost two kilometers that is why 
implementing this project to be very beneficial to them. A community outreach for learning and education, reach to teach. According to the UNICEF, many Filipino children miss out the opportunities to learn. Only half of the children 3 to 4 years old are enrolled in kindergarten and only 78% complete the basic education. Every year, the number of out-of-school children increases up an alarming number. This would lead to more severe problem of the society since our country needs knowledgeable and healthy citizens, which is the best assets for progress. The government are on its massive campaign and projects to minimize if not eliminate this problem. But this is just one of the problems our government are dealing now since we are fighting this pandemic due to COVID-19. We can do our part even just in our own little ways. Sometimes, little things can make a big difference. In line with this, the Rich to Teach program is proposed to cater these children, the ones who were having hard time coping with today's mood of learning. The out-of-school children, especially those who belong to the poorest of the poor, share with them particular learnings and bestow social and moral support to help them taste their right and feel that education is really for all. And we have five objectives. First, to teach the children with basic knowledge. Second, to conduct educational activities and games where they can enjoy and learn at the same time. Third, to increase the children's confidence by showing their talents and skills. We should focus our aim to teach the children a basic knowledge of IT. To make it fun or program, maybe we should conduct a parlor games. Of course, it based on the IT lessons. That's Fourth, to to provide the children with school supplies to use in their studies and recap the learning that they have acquired. And last, to help other children socialize with others and widen their circle of friends despite this pandemic. And for the target people of this proposal are the ones living in Porok San Vicente, Tagboa, Lupon, Davao Oriental. And there is an estimated 80 household in this community and the target people of this proposal are the children um, the young ones live in a poor community but there are also children living here that regularly go to school up to this day through modal learning and the leaders of this community are Mr. Tersu Maghano which is the president um, Ms. Norama Gunayan the secretary and Anali Manulay the treasurer and the and the people here live in a rural agricultural area where farming is the main source of income and crops like bananas and coconuts are the, are the most common products. And that is our project proposal which is the Reach to Teach program which focuses on education and knowledge of the children. And we chose this proposal because we think that education and learning is so important and no one should be deprived of it. And through this, maybe we can share and we can give them, the children, the knowledge and the learnings that they deserve.